there is an assumption that people often have when it comes to what it means to successfully show up in your content and in your marketing. And the assumption is that you need to be instantly impressive. Why is that? Why is that? Why do I say that that's the assumption? But because when you get into marketing your business, people say, well, you've got to have a great website, right? You've got to have maybe a great logo. Um, your website has to be written so well that, uh, you know, and designed so well that you keep the visitor's attention because they only have, you know, three seconds, five seconds uh, before they want to leave. So you got to capture their attention in those first few seconds and, and keep their attention. It's essentially, you need to be instantly impressive to everyone, or at least to your ideal viewers. And so whether that's your website or your social media has got to be, you know, make sure your Instagram grid is really nice and pretty and instantly impressive. You know, whether it's, uh, well, even making a video. Ah, <clears throat> you got to make sure that you know, you capture the, the viewer's attention. I mean, I've literally seen <laughs> somebody who teaches, you know, how to make videos. Like I saw her going like this in the beginning of a video. And then she's, oh, I was just trying to get your attention. And I'm like, oh my God. instantly impressive is the assumption. And you, you might not even realize that you're making that assumption that to be able to show up successfully online or just to show up successfully in your content, in your articles, your videos, your website, your social media, in front of your prospective clients. Like if you're going on a, you know, a client call, a call with a potential client, got to be instantly impressive. I mean, we don't even realize we're making that assumption, but that's how a lot of us actually are operating through our business and maybe even through life that we have to show up instantly you know attractive and interesting and maybe even perfect you know you don't even realize you're making that assumption and that is actually how most marketing is taught if you're going to learn marketing for your business well the fact that you're watching this means you're interested in marketing for your business this is what you're going to learn. You're going to be instantly impressive. That's what, the, that's what they're all going to tell you. That's why they, you know, um, they charge you the big bucks to make your website and your social media all great and impressive. But I've taken a different path. And I didn't, uh, you know, I had to basically crash and burn with the instantly impressive method, burnout before I rebooted my business and basically started out in a much humbler way. I would, I would say humbler way, just kind of like starting out, like, I just want to help people and I just want to be myself and help people. So how do I do that without pretending, without trying to get people's attention and trying to be attractive. Can I just have a successful business being myself? Well, I'm grateful to tell you that after eight years of experimentation, I, I started my business in 2009. So it's been about almost 13 years, but I was trying to be instantly impressive for the first five years because that's what I thought you had to do because I was learning from all the other, mark, most of the other marketing experts out there. That's what they're saying even if they're not saying it consciously, they are giving you those values subconsciously, okay? And I'm trying to give you a different set of values subconsciously and consciously. So after burning out, after five years of business, I started over, um, I had a kind of a spiritual breakdown, breakthrough, which actually I would say is the foundation for this new method. And I'll just say um, briefly, the, the takeaway from my spiritual <laughs> breakthrough back then was that um, we are each infinitely guided, loved, protected, safe, and truly our 
entire existence of our souls, which I believe is infinite, is profoundly safe and on the inevitable path towards bliss, which is ultimate knowledge, total and complete love, authentic power and creativity that is beneficial. We are, there, there's no way we can screw it up. That, that, was my, that was my takeaway from my spiritual experiences. And so that's what, that's what you see today, eight years of that. Uh, and so how I applied that to business and to showing up, you know, is instead of trying to be instantly impressive, I'm now going to dedicate myself to the path of consistent authenticity to be consistently showing up every day for my purpose, for my business, and to just practice and explore what it means to be authentic in the moment today and when I show up on video and in my writings and on my website and everywhere, in my meetings with potential clients or with clients, everybody potential colleagues, et cetera. To be consistently authentic means to dedicate oneself to showing up, knowing that I'm not going to be instantly impressive, probably. To, you know, at least in the beginning, I was not in instantly impressive to most people who are watching my videos. In the beginning, you know, of uh, my writing journey, I was certainly not instantly impressive to most people who read my blog posts and articles and lost a lot of people. And, and this is also part of it. You know, part of the takeaway from my spiritual experience was you can't ever lose people. Uh, I mean, you could say that in the broader sense that I don't think people ever die, but that, that's, that's, uh, that's a separate subject. But just in terms of like, the, the mainstream marketing comes from the fear, oh, I better not lose my visitors. I got three seconds to impress them in this video and on this website, in my social media page, in this conversation, uh, in this article that I'm writing. I got three seconds to impress them and to keep their attention. I got to keep being impressive throughout the whole thing. And like I said, my, my takeaway from my breakthrough was you can't ever lose the people that are meant for you. I believe that there are such a thing as soul groups and life planning before this life and just as destiny. And we are being brought along in the most profound, um, profoundly beautiful plan possible for our growth and our uh, living into loving more, um, into a world where uh, all souls are um, fully developed and it's just a perfect, perfectly beautiful plan. And so I can't lose anybody. I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be worried that I'm going to lose you because you're bored about this video. It's okay. You can go. I, it's okay. <laughs> really. I mean, honestly, if you're bored by this video, just go. There's plenty of other things to watch. You know, there's, there's plenty of other good things to do with your time so you can stop this video. But th that's what I mean. It's like, I don't, I don't care if I lose you on any video, on any webpage, on any article, on it, because I know that if I keep showing up consistently and broadcasting my energy signature, which is, I think, what, um, what we are all called to do. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we are called to show up with our authentic purpose, whatever we know it to be. And of course, life is about exploring, experimenting, and, and, and you know, through our experiences, uh, finding out more and more what that means to, to live our purpose. Okay. So, but you can either, we can either, you know, crouch under, you know, in our blankets, scared that we might disappoint others and we might lose people who come to our website and we might make mistakes and we might uh, not get the clients and so many fears that we can have. Of course, of course. But the fears, of course, are based on the view of life that we are not protected, that we are not guided at every moment and that our, our destiny is not ultimate bliss, for sure. That's, the, that's therefore there's fear. Like, oh, I, I, 
It's up to me to make sure I'm going to survive today and then I'm going to thrive tomorrow. It's up to me, my God, if I make a mistake, then I can't. And I think since my you know, spiritual experience of 2020, 20, 2012, 2014, in that area, um, I said, wait a minute, you and I are perfectly protected, guided. You're, you're, you can't make any mistake. I mean, you can make all time, kinds of mistakes, but no matter how many mistakes you make, your path is still going to be inevitably towards bliss and full development of your soul. And which is ultimate power, love, wisdom, and all that good stuff. So you don't have to be afraid. And I don't have to be afraid about losing anybody who might watch our videos or come to our website. Website. Oh, website's not, not done. I got to redo it. Whatever. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't redone my website for years. I'm finally doing it just because I'm moving to a different platform. So I, I'm kind of forced to at least edit every single page a little bit. But um, I'm not afraid of losing you or anybody. You can stop watching my videos forever. It, it just means we're not meant to work together in this life. And that's okay too, right? Um, but if I show up, so I get, like I said, we, we, have the, we have the choice of crouching in fear. And when I, I say that both, you know, I really metaphorically, I mean, it's not showing up, but just crouching in fear and therefore not broadcasting your energy signature. And when I say energy signature, I mean, you, 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 automatically broadcast your energy signature whenever you open your mouth or whenever you type something online, whenever you uh, publish anything, whenever you show up, basically, uh, you are broadcasting your energy signature. And people sense it in, in ways that they can't even explain. Uh, you know, the ways we can explain is, okay, they sense it in your facial expressions and in your voice and in your hand gestures and in the way you write and in the way you decide to choose certain pictures online or whatever, all that's energy signature. And I think there's also something, I don't know, unexplainable, invisible that's being broadcasted out there uh, as we show up. And so we have a choice. You can either crouch in fear and go, every time I show up, it's got to be really good. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be, you know, perfectly in order. I have to tell my story right before I can show up online. And because I might lose people, I might, I might lose people. You can, you can, that's fear. That's, that's a fear-based life, business, marketing strategy. Or you can say, you know, take on the abundance mindset essentially is what it, what this is. And, and the safety mindset to say, ah, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care how many people I lose online because I showed up imperfectly because I know if I keep showing up, two things are going to happen. If I keep showing up, my energy signature is going to keep being broadcasted and my soul group is going to be able to find me in this life instead of the next life. <laughs> Right, you, you can crouch in fear all, all, all your life if you want to, and and die without having sung the song, uh, die without having done the purposeful work. It's okay because you have infinite lives. So, just next life, we'll we'll we'll, we'll do this again. Uh, next life, hopefully, you'll crouch a little bit less in fear and and open yourself up more and keep broadcasting until your soul group people find you. Uh, so, if the more you broadcast yourself, literally, you know. Video is a great way of doing it because you are broadcasting your energy signature more powerfully on video than any other online format. The most powerful, of course, is in person, but it's relatively hard to get enough people in the room in person. That's why I never do in-person stuff. I love doing in-person stuff, actually. If, if, if you were to organize a gathering in your city, I would, be, I would fly there. Um, I mean, hopefully you could pay for my expenses. But yes, I, I love being in person. I'm very... I'm very happy to be in person, but it's too much work to organize butts and seats. It's just a lot of effort, you know, relative to what I can do online. Uh, it's a lot less effort to get enough viewers and to get enough business. And all. Anyway, so the more I was going to say, two things happen when you broadcast yourself on a consistent basis. And one is that you're broadcasting energy signature out there and your soul group is going to find you, which may take 10 years for one of your soul group members to find you. Maybe I, I'll, I'll pro I promise you, if you broadcast consistently for a year, you're going to get a couple of soul group people finding you, people who are meant for you uh, to work with you, either for life or at least for now. They're meant to work with you in the season. Um, but, you know, it's like, it's like you, you, you gather people every single year. 
and I'm going to be, I'm dedicated to broadcasting myself till I die, you know, till hopefully in the next 50 years, I'll be broadcasting myself. Like maybe, maybe I still have, you know, the final 500 soul group people who will find me in my last year of life or something like that. I mean, we just, we just, we have to keep broadcasting out there. Bing, 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 bing. We're, we're just pinging ourselves out there so that the soul group people can find us. Otherwise, they're going to have to wait till the next life. Oh, you didn't broadcast yourself enough. We, we'll, 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 we'll try to meet up again in the next life. Please try to be more courageous. That's what, we're, that's what they're saying to you. That's what we all plan before. The, <laughs> this is turning into be a, a much more woo-woo video. I'm sorry uh, for those who don't believe this stuff. But even if you don't believe this stuff about soul group and life planning, if you don't, it's okay. You don't have to believe it. But use it as a metaphor. Use it as an analogy to say, okay, there's, I can imagine that there are ideal clients meant for me that wouldn't know me until I broadcast myself out there enough. You, you could use it as a secular, you know, non-spiritual uh, metaphor. It works perfectly too. It's true. The more you broadcast yourself out there, whether it's video or podcast or writings, uh, you know, however you, you put yourself out there, the more you do that for more years, the more of the right ideal clients will say, hey, I never discovered you. When, how come you, I never discovered you. You've been doing this for 30 years, broadcasting yourself for 30 years, and now I discover you. I'm so grateful, you know? So there is, like I said, I'll just wrap up the video by, by reminding you, there's the path of trying to be instantly impressive. Just, 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 I just want you to be aware that that is a mindset. And if you uh, have heard of the fixed versus growth mindsets, fixed versus growth mindset. I want you to Google that. I want you to learn about this. This is so important. This has made my career, basically. I basically apply the fixed and growth mindset to everything. And that's, that's what I talk about all the time. So the fixed mindset says, you know, they, the fixed mindset person goes, hmm, intelligence is fixed. Talent is fixed. I, I, I am born with, a, with just a certain amount of talent or, or intelligence. And I have to basically prove I'm going to do myself to prove myself to, to, to have that. And if anything, uh, you know, if any experience where I make a mistake, that's very dangerous because that might disprove my identity as having that kind of mind, uh, that kind of intelligence or talent or, or, or self-worth, worthwhileness. Versus the growth mindset says, no, we're born with unlimited potential. We don't know what our potential is. We don't at any moment. Even as an adult, we have no idea what our potential could be. So all we can do is practice. All we can do is keep learning and practicing, getting better, because we have no idea how great we could become, how talented we could become. And so, the, again, the, the two paths, right? Instantly impressive, you're crouching in fear, and the first, every time you show up, it's got to be real good, versus consistently authentic says, I don't have to be afraid of losing anyone, because my soul group is out there, and when they see me with all my mistakes and with all my imperfections, they, they'll still recognize me because they're part of my soul group. Like I said, if you don't believe that stuff, just think your ideal client, your true fan does recognize you with all your mistakes, with all your quirks, with all your ums, pauses, uh, stumbles, word stumbles, all that. They, 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 they love you no matter what, because they're meant for you. They're, the ideal client goes, something about you. It's not, it's not your perfect words. It's not your perfect hair today or your perfect face or no. Something about you really makes me want to work with you, right? I, I call that soul resonance, but you can call that secular ideal client, you know, fit. Anyway, so instantly impressive versus consistently authentic. You just show, keep showing up practicing. What does it mean for me to be authentically in service to my growth and also to the ministry of, 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 of people that I'm meant to, to, to serve and heal and, and help and uplift and educate. Uh, this is why, I, what does it mean to be authentically in service to, to, to that combination every single day to my own growth and to the growth of, of those I'm meant to serve. And consistently authentic means, I, I was gonna say two things happen in the end. One is you're gonna keep broadcasting so that you, more and more of your soul group finds you over time. And number two, you're just going to keep getting better. Instead of the one crouching in fear and like, oh, I got to show up perfectly every time. The one consistently authentic just gets so much practice. For example, showing up on video, that's no longer a big deal. It's no, it's no big deal for me to show up on video. I used to be so scared, but now it's no, no, no big deal for me to show up on video anymore. And because of no more big deal for me to show up on camera and look at the camera lens, and it's all, it's all so much practice has been done that now I can really express and explore 
without thinking, oh, I got to look at the camera lens. Oh, I got to, you know, end my video this way, start that. But that's all practice. It all took a lot of practice to get here, to be able to then express myself even more fully every time. So anyway, that's long enough. I, I hope this has been helpful. I really wish you a heartfelt dedication to showing up every day authentically in service to your growth and to the healing and growth of those you're meant to serve. And if you do that in, in, in mode of practice every day, whatever you're doing, video, writing, showing up on your webpage, websites, creating, planning, meeting with people, just keep practicing, knowing that you can never lose people that are meant for you, then you will keep showing up and you will get more and more of your soul group finding you and you'll get more and more talented along the way. Blessings to you. Thank you again for so, for so much for watching and being willing to watch all the way to this end. I'm really, really grateful. Take care.